Hello and welcome. This routine is for any of you that are concerned about pitch. What I've learned as a vocal coach is that developing great pitch has as much to do with muscle coordination as it does with our ears. So we're gonna be working on two types of exercises, short staccato sounds to help us build accuracy, as well as freedom exercises to help you access your high notes as well as your low notes without any strain. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to tell you, if you're interested in learning more about your voice, how to have accurate pitch, how to be in control of your instrument, we've got an amazing free resource for you called the Singing Starter Kit. So I'm gonna make sure that's linked up for you here and let's dive in. Okay, the first exercise we're gonna be working on is a very ugly exercise. We're gonna stick out our tongues and we're gonna say ah, ah, ah. We want this note to be short, we want it to be staccato, and we want it to be sort of strong, connected. So it's gonna sound like this. Ah, 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 ah. That's it, and we're gonna move it up. Voices can join me here. Keep it going. It can sound kind of like a cry, but don't let it tense. exercise we're gonna do is a creaky sound. We're gonna do it with our mouths closed. And if you wanna do a little tension check, take your thumbs, place them underneath your chin, swallow, and then notice if you feel something sort of pushing against your thumbs. Those are the muscles that we wanna keep relaxed as we do this exercise, so just kinda of sort of mentally try to turn them to jelly as you sing through. We're gonna start here, and for low voices, down here, and they'll sound like this. have to be loud but it does have to be connected so you don't want this that's not what we're after we want it nice and this is like target practice close your eyes if that helps Better. Another thing you can do is use a microphone to sing your warm-ups into. There we go. So that's a great exercise to work on pitch accuracy, build muscle memory on individual notes, as well as check for tension. So we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna smooth them together. We're gonna keep that same bratty feeling. And when I say bratty, I mean the sound is kind of coming out your nose. A little vocal fry on the first note. If this gets hard, go back to those creaky feelings. Back down. It starts to feel tighter, tense. Those little staccato footprints. Why did I say footprints? Okay, <laughs> because I was imagining little steps. The ground is hot. Mental imagery. Let's do a smooth one. There you go. 
So when we're working on pitch, one of the things I often hear from students is like, okay, I'm fine on the bottom end, but when I try to sing high, I kind of lose my voice or I can't find the notes. And oftentimes that's because we get a little too tense. Um, so we have to free things up, which is why I wanted to work on what I like to call a freedom exercise. So do this with me. We're just going to go, whoo, and we're going to pretend like we're at a sporting event. We're really excited. We're cheering on our favorite team. Woo! That's sort of the feeling we want. It's not tight and tense, it's free. Woo! So we're gonna be singing goo. So the G is gonna help us to connect to the note. The oo is gonna help us to sort of set it free. And it's gonna sound like this. Goo, 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 goo. So you don't want goo, 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 goo. That's not what we're after. We're after short, accurate notes that feel easy. Goo, 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 goo. And if you have a low voice, you can start here. Goo, goo, goo. I cannot sing that low. So let's try it together. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. If you get vibrato on the bottom, it's even better. Let's keep it going. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. Use the G to help. Now we're gonna do that one more time, and this time let's try a K on the front. And just notice if that feels easier or more challenging for you. So we're gonna be singing coo, 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 coo. Coo, 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 coo. It's a subtle difference, but it can make the difference. Coo, 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 coo. Coo, 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 coo. Make sure you're getting grounded on the bottom. Coo, coo, we don't want coo, we don't wanna hear. Coo, 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 coo. There, you hear the difference? Coo, 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 coo. One more. Coo, 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 coo. You got it. All right, so the next exercise we're going to work on is sounds like this. Gug, 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 gug. And this is sort of a balance or a coming together of everything we've done so far. So we did those more ugly exercises to develop confidence and settle into certain pitches. And then we worked on the freedom exercise to make sure we don't have any tension and we can access our higher notes. And so now we're taking an exercise where we're starting up high, gug, 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 and we're moving it back down and allowing that experience to feel a little bit different in our body as we work through. Making sure we don't get in the way with tension and we don't let go on the bottom. We don't want guck, 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 guck. That's not getting enough stability. If that's happening, try and you'll find it. And then you can put the word back on it. Guck, 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 guck. So we don't want grippy on the top. Guck, we don't want that. Guck, guck, guck. And again, if you're struggling here, just make a creaky sound and it'll help you to find that balance. Okay, let's work through this one. Keep them short. No need to get shouty on the top note. It's just nice and light but connected. So not gug gug, we don't want that. We want gug 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 gug. and you're not tensing. Back to gug. Woo! Okay, so that's headed up. Let's head back down. You're in control of how much or how little you give this exercise. So play with different volumes and intensities to find something that feels balanced for you. And this that hand motion forward helps to me to think that I'm moving forward. So you can try that. We're not going up and down, we're going straight ahead. Amazing! All right, that's your routine for pitch accuracy. It was short, it was sweet, it was effective. Repeat this daily. So we've got a little treat for you with some downloadable MP3s below this video that you can use to practice along. And if you're inside the membership, you can use this in our routine section where you can adjust the tempo, you can adjust the ranges to make it suit your voice perfectly. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. All right, happy practicing and I'll see you around.